Yo, what's up, guys? Tony from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com and Paradise Garage. Hanging out with you today. Sorry about yesterday. I had uh, to go running around, and my team sent out the email anyway. Um, it was just too late for me to, to tell them to not send out the email for the invitation. But um, anyway, I'm here today. We're going to be here for about 30 minutes doing some quick Q&A. Um, if you hear me and see me, type in the chat super quickly. And um, let me know that you guys can hear and see me and also where you're tuning in from. Um, and if you're a Learn Auto Body and Paint VIP member, type in VIP, type in where you're tuning in from. And um, we can get started with some auto body Q&A. One second. Let's see. Let's go to the comments. Let's see. Let's see. Welcome LABAP VIP members if you're tuning in today. And if you're brand new to the channel, um, if you want to get some free auto body information, just click the link over here or down the description or visit learnautobodyandpaint.com uh, to get some free auto body and paint training. And I'm going to go to the comments. Uh, Rich Reese says, hey, Tony, I can hear you. Um, tuning in from the United Kingdom, guys. Let me know if you guys can hear and see me. Um, Robert says, what's up? Hello, hello, hello. Have you guys um, been checking out the Good Van Project? We finally completed it a few days ago. Um, just got to take some final video footage of it. It looks awesome. Um, I got a safety check for it. That's why I missed yesterday's call because I had to go get a safety inspection for it and uh, took it down to show it to some friends and all. Everybody loves it. Came out excellent. Looks like a totally different car. Um, and uh, you guys are going to be getting full step-by-step -step footage on how we completed it. Uh, we even did the rims. We did the, the ring. We did the center cap gloss black. We did the bumpers gloss black. Um, everything pretty much looks amazing we got no runs in it at all and uh it came out really really good did the raptor liner on the front grill okay we got the gloss black emblem to match our gloss bumpers we got our two-tone band in the front i could outline this and pinstripe it with a pinstripe you know you do feel it because we just masked it up sanded it with 400 and, and sprayed two heavy coats of uh, black on it looks really good Look at the side here. This is what it looks like. And uh, there's the side of the van. Came out really well. Uh, we did the two-tone like this. Okay. Um, looks legit. Uh, we did the two-tone, so we made the... Uh, I don't know if you see it. Can you guys see that? Okay, here we go. I see it now. It's just hard. Um, so we made right underneath the drip rail black and then right above it white with the white roof. And then we just two-toned all in here, wrapped it, wrapped it around basically the truck like this, the van, the bottom. And uh, it looks, it stands out really, really nice. People like it. People like it. I like it. Looks different. I feel like we could put a black pinstripe along the side, but uh, looks pretty, looks pretty gnarly. So that's the Good Van Project, guys. <clears throat> um, we're gonna do some quick Q and A again. Um, I'm gonna have a free page up, a free membership page where you guys. It's gonna take probably two to three weeks to get the content done for this project. Um, all the video. I'm actually gonna be uploading the video to my video guy today. Um, and there's a lot of content step by step, the products we used, A to Z video you're going to get. You're also going to get the street, the live streams that we did all in order. So you can kind of watch the whole progress of this video of this project that we banged out. It took about a good 10 days of work, um, you know, over two to three weeks to get it done. You know, 10 full days of, of kind of like working on the van. I put all weekend in Saturday and Sunday this past Saturday, Sunday to finish it up. Uh, put it together. I actually just put the wipers on it just now. We sanded and painted the wipers as well. So they look they look brand new, right? They were all corroded looking. I got new blades on it. 
So we painted this piece as well. Um, it is it is cracked, you know. It's it's you know it's a, it's an old van, but looks really good. So I hope you guys uh, enjoy the footage with that. I'm gonna be sending out an email. So don't forget to subscribe to LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com because once um, the A to Z content of this van project is ready in the next few weeks, you're gonna be getting the whole thing on like an organized format in a members area. So subscribe here to learn auto body and paint. And then um, you're going to be getting that. I'll send you an email invitation um, when it's ready. So let's do some quick Q&A. I'm going to be on for like 20 more minutes. We'll do some quick Q&A. Um, let's see. All right. I got runs in my paint job. Looks pretty bad. Should I respray the whole truck or just sand down and blend it? Uh, it's white single stage. So it depends. Let me sit down. Um, it really depends what you want to do. You know, you could just do a single panel if you want, or you could, it depends. Do you have runs all the way around the vehicle? You know, is it like runs all over the place or just in one spot? If it's in one area, like a quarter panel or a fender, you could just respray that panel. Um, what's up, Robert? Sean Daniels. Hey, Tony, I have a damage on a 2021 Ford F-150. Too small, two millimeter dense. Question is, do I need to clear the entire bedside after I fill it, prime and paint? Or can I just use something like uh, a blend coat? Um, to do the job correctly, if you're doing any kind of painting, it's best to, to clear the entire panel. Okay. Because if you're going to be blending, you want to be blending on a small section like, you know, in here, you know, very a narrow part. It's going to be hard to blend such a wide panel. You know what I mean? You don't want to be blending in a wide panel. You want to be blending in a, a small panel. So like a, a door pillar column type of thing, you know, that's kind of where you want to do your blends, but not like over a huge wide area. So. Um, thank you, Wilford. Wilford said, looking very good. Love it. Uh, what is your procedure on wet, <clears throat> on wet primer? What does that mean? I don't, I'm not, I don't know what you mean by that. Um, what's up, Arnold? Fix that crack. Come on now. Don't skimp out. <laughs> yeah, Arnold. <clears throat> what's up, Chris Angel? New VIP member from Louisiana. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Tuning in from Facebook, huh? How'd you find us on Facebook? Um, and how are you liking the VIP trainings? Let me know. Let me know. Um, glad to see you on the call. Is it feasible or unnecessary to, to use clear base to help blend new non-metallic base with old non-metallic base? Or is this method only beneficial for laying down metallics? I'm not sure what you're trying to say there. Clear base to help blend a new non-metallic base with old non-metallic base. Man, your, your question is confusing the heck out of me. If you could reword that and kind of like, let me know, like non-metallic, non-metallic. I mean, non-metallic is just a, a solid, just a regular paint color, right? Solid color. Um, Oh, wet on wet, then you leave 30 minutes to color. To color sand or to color, you meaning by paint? Well, primer, you could spray primer a few times while it's wet. So that's fine. You know, you don't have to let primer flash as much as you let base coat flash or single stage. So you could lay primer on a panel and come back around in five minutes, even though it's still a little wet, you can just soak more primer on it. You can, as long as you don't like wet it out so much that you're getting a bunch of runs, as long as you don't run it, you're fine. Right. Uh, but if you do run it, you just let that dry and you block it out, you sand it out. Okay. So that's fine. If you want to spray, um, 
primer on wet on wet and get it. I mean, if you watch some of my videos, you'll see how I spray primer. I mean, it's, you know, you could just wet it on if you want. No big deal. Um, cool. Chris Angel, Chris, a angel. That's the magician. Chris Angel. <laughs> awesome. Let me know what you're working on. Maybe we can help you out. Sean says to blend a small spot on a large panel, what grit should I sand the existing clear before I clear the entire, pa entire panel? Uh, you could go down to a 800, but if you want to be safe and make sure you don't sand through the clear coat, you can go uh, with a thousand grit is fine. Um, so yeah, a thousand grit, the whole panel is fine. And then you could do, you know, your body work with 400 grit. I don't know if you had to do glaze putty or primer or whatever, but you could do the area that you body work and fix with 400 grit. And then you could 1000 the rest of the panel and then clear it. Hopefully that helps Sean Daniels. Let me know. Um, you could even go 800 actually, but if you're working with a, a factory paint job, 800, you know, the, the clear coats are very thin. You might risk cutting through pretty easily to your base layer and you really don't want to cut through to your base layer. Ketis Bloom, new VIP member here from Delaware. What do you recommend ventilation wise for my garage at 16 by 30 as far as filters and fans? So I picked up this filter. I'm not sure what brand it is. Um, electric fan motor. I don't know. I picked up this thing and it's enough. It sucks out enough cubic feet. I did the math for my 24 by 24 garage, which is almost 500 square feet in here. Right. Um, and it does an excellent job. And guys, I painted my van in the garage here. I painted this huge monster van in my garage here. And I got all the footage for you to, to, to see. It's going to be coming out shortly. So just, just be patient uh, because you guys are going to get all the footage for this thing. It doesn't look like that ugly teal thing anymore. Um, it looks pretty badass, especially like from afar, like out on the road or like, you know, it looks really good with the rims and all looks pretty dope. People like it a lot. So, um, and then as far as the intake, I just cut a hole in my door. Okay. And I put this little filter in, it's a little dirty, but, um, it is, it is a little restrictive. So when I painted this van, actually, I left the door open a smidge, probably about this much. And I just had fresh air coming in you know, from my backyard, I had fresh air coming in and I hardly had any dust. So as long as you got clean intake air coming in, um, that's really not dusty. You don't have to worry about it, but if you want to be extra careful and, um, have some ventilation and, and, you know, intake, I would recommend, you know, having at least two of these. One is not enough for me. Um, because it's restrictive. When I open the door, the fan actually has more flow. So you know that it's restricting. When I close that door all the way, you can feel the fan straining. But when I crack it open two inches and I let free air come in, this thing just really, it's like, it like blows right out. So when I was spraying this van in here, literally, I didn't have any issues with overspray, it just sucked right out. So, and this fan is a 24 inch um attic fan that i got from amazon for a couple hundred bucks works excellent works excellent okay. so yeah it's all you need all you got to worry about is getting the overspray out because if you don't have good a good exhaust system a good exhaust fan it just gets so cloudy in the garage and you can't see okay and it's just not good because the paint's, you know, paint's going in your eyes unless you're wearing goggles, right? And it, you, you feel it, right? It's going into your system. So the better exhaust you have, the it's just so much better because it just sucks it right out. You can see what you're doing. And um, yeah. Have you ever used clear binder than clear after like a flow coat? Um, yeah, I mean, a binder is basically, you're talking about a mid coat, right?
do you have to send all of the clear off before priming or can you prime? You could prime over sanded clear, okay? You, you never really want to sand off all of your clear coat because that's a good foundation to put new paint on top of clear coat, all right? So you just want to scuff it and you want to get it flat. Um, I'm going to drop the link again, guys, to learn auto body and paint.com. Just subscribe there and get your free training. And if you want to check out the VIP area, check it out. There's over 250 hours of step-by-step -step auto body videos where we talk about everything we're talking about and more on video. And I show you, I take you by the hand, you look over my shoulder and all of these questions you're asking, I don't know if probably not all of you guys are VIPs. Some of you guys are. Um, but it takes you by the hand step by step and shows you, um, you know, so even you VIP guys in here, you know, check the VIP course out a little bit more. I know you're, you know, you're in there, you're looking at videos, but maybe you don't finish them or, you know, it's like that. Like I buy subscriptions and memberships to stuff all the time. You know, I watch some of it and I don't watch it. Then I log in again and I watch it, but try to follow a project through. And then this one, you guys are going to get in VIP as well with a little bit more, um, you know, of the more of the monotonous crap cut out, you know, more to the point because you guys are going through the program, you know, some of the basics. So I'm cutting out some of the basics. I'm going to make it like short, simple, and sweet. So you guys can get, you know, the, just the good content of the van project. Um, when using 3M spot putty, what is the dry time before paint not to get solvent pump? So the longer, the better. Okay, so if you're if you let it dry a day and you do your your body work the next day, that's more than enough time. Uh, but if you're rushing, I would say three four hours. Okay, then you're good to go. Okay, you, painting before three four hours is a little you know still kind of in that curing stage. Okay, it does dry, but you know to fully be cool about it and not worry about um, any type of extra curing and shrinkage, a day is a good amount of time. Uh, did I wet the floor? Yes, I did. I hosed out the, the floor. I sweeped, hosed out the floor, and, um, and yeah, I just painted. Came out great. Um, let's see. Do you know why after waxing a couple days later, the collected dust makes the paint feel like sandpaper? Do you know why after waxing a couple of days later, the collected dust makes the paint feel like sandpaper? Oh, it's because of the dust. I'm assuming it's the dust on the paint. So you, you want to blow it off or, or hose it off. You really don't want to wipe dust back in onto your paint. Um, the best way to get rid of that... <clears throat> Most of it's probably from like static, you know, static sticking dust sticking to your car. So you just want to hose it off. Um, thanks. The last question I have, I picked up an Adam X88 on your advice. This will be my first paint project. Awesome, Sean. Keep me posted on how you like it. Um, I did spray the van with my Blue Moon. X88 Blue Moon. Oh, shit. Did I just, hold on one second. Hold on guys, emergency. God, that was crazy. I had a little bit of thinner in here and it dropped on my keys, on my keyboard. It looks fine though. Dang, that was crazy. Whew. Okay. Um, Yo, what's up, Vigil Nanny? How you doing? Hope, hope all is well. Lifetime VIP from Michigan, checking in late. No issues. Uh, when you dust coat to blend the base during a spot repair, do you change your gun settings and spray techniques? Uh, spray techniques, yes, because you're blending, right? You make sure there's nothing in here. God, I just cleaned it out the other day. That's why. And I usually keep some thinner in it. I use the uh, X27, I think, for the white, and then I use the X88 for the black. So I use two guns, actually. Yeah, I use the 27 for the white single stage, and then the black single stage, I use the X88. Um, 
Gun settings, not really. I'm normally spraying with the same gun settings. Damn, that was gnarly, dude. Right on my MacBook keys. It looks okay. Um, but as far as... You know what? I might actually turn the pressure up a little bit more when I'm dusting, you know, and, and drop coating kind of like, and, but mostly the spray technique is different. So, you know, when blending, you're not just spraying this way on a panel. You could also kind of, kind of go like this, you know, you crisscross it. So you spray like this, and then you kind of go like this across your panel uh, to make sure your metallics or whatever you're doing blends in uh, the panel. Um, so, yeah. Uh, what is the drying time before paint for 3M macro spot putty to, to dry? I think I answered your question. Can I get VIP in UK? Yeah, absolutely. VIP is uh, is worldwide. Yep. So check it out here. I'll just drop a link at the free training and then check out VIP if you want um lifetime vip awesome awesome biracial yoda i'm not sure what you mean by that <laughs> working on a 71 corvette awesome great guys um for reinforcing an aftermarket body kit would you recommend fiberglass filler or long hair fiberglass with resin um, reinforcing an aftermarket body kit. I would use, here's what I used. I filled some rust spots on my, there was, I had a couple of holes actually on, on the top of the hood here. And I used long strand kitty hair, which is great stuff uh, to fill up my rust holes. Cause I wasn't doing any welding or any of that on this thing. Sheet metal work. Heck no. Um, we just use some of this stuff. Okay, and it works great. So you could do this for the majority of it and then um, for like little extra filling and shaping, you could use body filler over it. So you put this on to reinforce it and if you really wanna make it look good and smoothen it out and make it, you know, perfecto, then you would just put body filler over it and then finish it off. Hopefully that helps. Um, I'm thinking, the whole ventilation part of this van looks good. Wouldn't have thought you just shot it with the door cracked. Yep, door cracked. And I actually do a lot of my paint jobs like that because um, I noticed that the one hole that I put, it's a 16 by, no, 14, 14 by 24 or a 16 by 24. I think it's a 16 by 24 opening I put in that door. Um, but one is not enough and I just don't want to cut another hole in my door and, and just go through it again. So I just crack it and I paint and I did my motorcycle projects in here like that. Just fresh air coming in, hardly getting dust. I mean, it's, it came out excellent. It came out excellent. It really did. Um, sup Harold Schwinn, how many coats of white did you cover the uh, green two coats? So when spraying, single stage guys normally you're putting two heavy coats on and you're done so what i did was initially let me turn the light on what i did what i did was i sprayed the i did the roof first two coats because i didn't want to do the roof come down do the body go up you know and risk touching the side of the van again with my clothes or whatever you know, I had my jumpsuit on, but I was like, screw it. I'm just going to put two heavy coats on the roof. Maybe we could kind of like step on the tire. I'll step on something to show you the roof. Roof came out great. I had to go up and down the ladder 16 times because, you know, I could only do a section at a time. So I had to do basically up and down one side four times because I had to go up the ladder, spray a little bit, move it, spray a little bit more, move it, spray a little bit more, move it and catch the back. So I was up and down. 16 times probably more 20 because i had to get in the, in the back one shot um i put two coats on the top two coats on the body called it a day i waited three days let it cure taped up my graphic taped up the two-tone all around 
with fine line tape, you can see how nice it came out as far as, you know, and yeah, the black has a little paint texture, but it's glossy as hell. People, you know, at the body shop were thinking it was a base coat, clear coat job. I'm like, dude, it's single stage. Okay, we painted the handles to match the body. It looks great. And then we did, you know, the two-tone over here. Okay. Um, and then I shot the black. Um, we did Raptor liner underneath because it was brown and ugly. And I did the Raptor liner on the grill as well to give it that rugged look. Gloss bumpers. You can see how glossy the bumpers look. Did the bottom plastic has a little paint texture because it's over raw plastic. Bumpers look fantastic. And um, that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. Looks good. Let me show you the roof. And the mirrors have a little orange peel because we went directly over raw plastic. Now, if you want to get rid of this type of texture, you could see how this looks super glossy, right? because we primed it with 2K filler and then we sanded it. That gives us a better gloss. This was over directly over raw plastic, which already had a texture in the plastic. Some of you guys know what I'm talking about. But if you wanna get rid of this texture, you 2K filler prime it, you sand it flat with 400 and then you paint it and then it'll look like this gloss. Me, I don't know. It was a good experience based actually showing you guys what it looks like if you don't do it. All I did was put bulldog adhesion promoter over my raw plastic and i shot uh two coats of black enamel okay and this is what it looks like if you go over textured raw plastic you're going to get this orange peel look if you want to eliminate it fill it with 2k filler primer sand it flat paint it it'll look like glass okay it'll look like this pretty much so let's take a look at the roof here Roof is all done as well. Okay. And then we have our two-tone, the black. All right. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. I'm going to do a couple more questions and then I'm out of here. I'm uh, a little bit busy today doing all kinds of crap. All right. You guys liking this so far? You guys liking this? Let me know. Type in the chat. Hit the thumbs up. Um, don't forget to uh, check out. Oh, shit. Harold Schwinn. I got your email yesterday. I need to check out those pictures. I haven't had time yet. I've been dealing with crypto all morning. <laughs> but Harold, I will definitely check it out and reply back to you. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, so, yes, I will get it. Um, dude, this is a real deep black. Jeff Dennis, I don't know, but this black by AIC from Sherman Williams, this is probably one of the deepest blacks that I've seen in a single stage. I mean, you could look at it. It is black, black, really nice black. Awesome on the X27. Hope you like it. Let me know if you guys like it. Um, have you used Feather Fill G2? Yes, I have. I don't like it. It's too thick. I would rather kind of finish off the body work a little bit smoother and then use a 2K filler primer. Um, but will a ceramic coating help a paint job with poor paint last longer? Yeah, you could you could try that. I would buff it out first to have a good, you know, take it to a detail shop or do it yourself, do a good buff job on it, and then do the ceramic coating. Uh, confirming that 800 to 1,000 is a good prep to clear coat a whole panel while 2,000 grit is appropriate for clear coat blend. Um, yeah, 1,500 to 2,000 if you're going to be blending it. And when you're saying clear coat blend, you're doing a clear coat fade and then buffing right uh to to buff into your other panel okay fiberglass motorcycle fender i want to take an inch out of it 
how do I put it back together with the inch missing and it stays together? Um, you could scuff up the whole back and you could put a fiberglass cloth in the back if you want. You can use kitty hair. You can use epoxy. There's many ways to do it. Um, I'd have to see kind of what you're working on. You know, are you cutting the, the front narrow part? Are you going long wise on the fender? You know, how are you cutting it? Hard for me to kind of give you any ideas. But basically, you want to make sure the whole back is sanded out with like an 80 grit. Um, and then you you could put your material, your plastic material in it if you want. Gel it. And you could finish it off like that. Or you can epoxy it. It just depends on how big um, of a cut you're doing. How crazy is the smell? I mean, single stage is, is pretty, you know, you can smell it. You know, my garage finally kind of aired out, but it does last for a few days in your garage. Uh, are you going to pinstripe to break up the black and white separation? I might, I might, but it doesn't really need it. I don't think it needs it, but I could, I could, if I want to, that's just, you know, ice cream on, you know, gravy on top, you know, icing on the top. Um, Lewis, I'm not sure you should just try to subscribe again, check your spam folder, check your emails, make sure you didn't put a typo in your email because it's all automated. You know, if you put your email in, you're going to be getting an email from me automatically with the, the link to the 85 page book and the newsletter, uh, which you get emails like once or twice a week with additional content. So you might want to just double check your subscription settings for that. Um, what clear do I recommend? Harold Schwinn, I'll definitely check out your project. Um, a good inexpensive clear I like is the finish line from Sherman Williams. Finish one. Okay. Acme is a good clear coat under a hundred bucks a kit. Um, or if you want to go all out, um, you could check out house of color. You got it guys. Um, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Is it easier to, is it easier and quick to spray single stage or the other way base and clear? Um, it's easier and quicker to spray single stage because you're only putting two coats on and you're done. Okay. If you're doing base clear, you're putting two, three coats of base and then you're putting two coats of clear. Okay. Single stage covers very, very quick. It's thick. Your prep doesn't have to be as finicky or as fine as when you're doing base cool clear coat, but actually I pretty much finished um, when I was sanding for the black. I finished at 400 grit because I wanted to make sure it, the black came out really nice. Because with black, you can you, you see a lot of imperfections, you know. So yeah, yeah. For a medium to high end job, this is a great clear coat. I just showed you the finish one. Very very good clear coat. All right. So. Uh, so yeah, you guys like this so far? Let me know. Hit the like button. Um, I'm gonna head out. I'm just gonna post the link here again. We'll do this next week, Monday. Hopefully, I don't miss it. I don't think I'm gonna miss it. I I very rarely miss these calls. I just had to run to town yesterday and get some things done. But there's the link. Um, if you want to check out VIP, check it out right there. And then um, I believe if you guys hold on for a day. Um, Zula is going to be doing a 20% off sale on spray guns in the next day or two. So I'm going to put the link here if you guys are looking for great spray guns. Um, like I said, I sprayed with the X27 spray gun and the X88, and I got this van project done last week and just put it together the other day. And, um, yeah, people love it. It's looking pretty, pretty, pretty rad. So, uh, so yeah, guys, dang, I missed the finished product. All right, guys, I'm going to head out. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys have a great rest of the week uh, and weekend. I'm going to post the link for learn auto body. One more shot. 
check out VIP, sign up if you want. It's over 250 hours of step-by-step -step videos. Um, you get access to the VIP Facebook group and priority Q&A um, if you need it from me. Send in a video, um, some images with a detailed question, and I will help you get to the next level with this stuff. All right. Oh, any of you guys interested in crypto in here? Anybody interested in crypto? Um, that's pretty, it's pretty much my a thing that I'm doing now. I need to update some of the wording on this page, but if you guys are, um, that's pretty, it's pretty much interested in crypto. Okay. Um, I have a new site that I'm working on where you subs you can subscribe here to cryptowaters.com. And I want to be releasing some new information on what I've been doing personally um, to generate a massive amount of income with crypto, NFTs, um, decentralized finance. Uh, I've been actually in the space since 2017. Um, you know, a pretty a pretty good amount of time. You know, considering, and um, it's something that I do every day. You know, I, I work on crypto every single day. It's something that I'm involved in heavily. Um, not sure how many guys in here. Can you can you guys like give me a hand like. How many of you guys are in crypto? Just type in me in there. I just want to see how many of you guys are actually into this stuff. You know, not many people are. I think it's about 10% of the population now um, in crypto. And then in NFTs, it's only 1% of the population. So um, very, you know, very small market right now, but huge amounts of money to be made. Huge amounts. Um, plus the adoption is growing like crazy. So... Harold, have some. So, wouldn't know how to do it. So, anyway, guys, I've been doing crypto for a while. If you guys are interested in learning how to grow your wealth or make extra money with crypto, sign up to my Crypto Waters newsletter. It's free, uh, but we're going to be coming out with some amazing stuff very, very shortly. Um, yeah, it's pretty much it. And we'll just answer this last question from Mike, um, and then I'm out of here. Mike's, um, Mike says, sorry for the late question. Uh, I wanted to know if the Atom X27 low will work with a 33 compressor, 6.9 at 40. Yes, it will work. It will work. It just depends on how much you'll be painting. You know, how much you're going to be painting. You're going to have a problem painting a full car with that. But if you do a single panel or two panels with it, you're going to be fine. You know, motorcycle, you're going to be fine. Okay, because your air compressor tank um, is basically limited, right? It's 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 a limiting factor. Thirty three gallons it limits you on painting a complete car because you don't have enough volume of air stored, right? And uh, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. All right, guys, have a great week. I'll talk to you soon. Give a thumbs up. Subscribe to Learn Auto Body. Uh, subscribe to Crypto Waters if you want to learn more about crypto. I guess a lot, of, a lot of you guys are not really into it. Pretty cool, actually. That's how... Uh... That's how niche down this whole thing is, right? Um, let me drop the link here. All right, guys. Have a good week. I'll talk to you later. Cheers. There's that last link for Learn Auto Body. Peace. Thanks, Harold. I'm going to check your images out.